Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. As always, you can email me at info at CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Um, I wanted to cover a uh, kind of a unique uh, firearm today. It's actually called a Calico M950. They were produced in uh, a somewhat limited, uh, const uh, limited design. They were originally produced back in uh, 1990 and uh, really never took off all that well. Um, it was originally designed for a, uh, the law enforcement and military market as a rapid fire uh, machine pistol. Um, they made a civilian version, the M950, which was actually uh, a semi-automatic version, which is what we have right here. The a couple of unique characteristics about this is, uh, one, it is categorized as a pistol. They come in both, uh, this is a 50 round magazine, and they also have an extended 100 round magazine for this weapon. The uh, shell casings actually fall out through the bottom, and uh, the way these uh, mechanics work are actually pretty unique. If you take the magazine off, and take a look at this, this is actually a, uh, um, it, it's, it's actually a, a kind of a rotated feed. So what happens is the bullets start in the back and they rotate around through the barrel, pushing up through the front, where they come out the bottom, and then through this bottom notch is where they're fed in through the barrel. Some of the weirdness about this is one, this is actually a very uh, um, painful gun to load, it takes a while. There is a, uh, a, a speed loader you can get for it, uh, which you actually clamp this down into this uh, little machine and you, you actually crank it and it'll actually load up the bullets right up through the system. Um, what you do is uh, you first, they have a tension release button on the magazine, you push that tension release and it will release all of the tension that builds up in here. After you load the magazine up, you have to actually pull this little lever out and you crank it. This actually creates uh, tension on the spring and pushes, creates tension all the way up through the magazine. So at the very front of this, you have tension that's sitting right there on the uh, uh, on the bullets, so that you have a constant amount of pressure pushing the bullets up into here. Um, after, when you're ready to reload this, you push the tension release, and it releases this whole spring in the back and reduces the amount of tension that's being pushed forward. The gun came with a two-point sling system. The safeties are both left and right-handed. Um, and by all, just a, a pretty strange weapon. Uh, during the, uh, I'd say the early 90s, um, you saw some of these in some of the science fiction movies. Uh, probably the most uh, recognized of this, probably Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The, uh, the gun was uh, pretty much in 1994 when the uh, assault weapons uh, ban came out. What happened to these guns were because it was a 10 shot assault weapons ban ban, um, a 50 round drum uh, pistol was pretty much uh, out, of, out of commission at that point. So Calico really didn't make, uh, make that many sales of this gun and largely pretty much discontinued. Um, they were produced out in Bakersfield, Cal uh, Bakersfield California and uh, being in the home state of most of these bands where they started, um, it, just, it just never took off. So uh, at the same time, you had uh, H&K with the uh, MP5s, which were just pretty much adopted by every uh, law enforcement and military agencies. The Calico M950 just never really took off, which is actually kind of a shame. It is an interesting gun. Uh, it shoots very accurately. It's very small. Um, it is categorized as a pistol, um, so kind of in the, as a good funny joke, you could actually use this as a concealed weapon. Um, the other things to note is uh, when you fire this gun, there's a plastic um, handguard in the front. The problem a lot of people have is when they're holding this plastic handguard, their back of their hand will come towards the ejection port at the bottom, and when the shell casings come up, it actually have some burns on the side of your hand. So you have to really make sure you keep your hands in the front position of it. Um, the sights are on the top. It's got both uh, windage and elevation adjustments on the sights. Um, the big problem here, though, is your rear sight, which is connected to the which is actually connected to your, uh, I'm sorry, magazine, uh, is popping in and out. So really having a, a truly accurate zero is kind of a questionable thing. Um, short range is pretty accurate. Um, it's got a long barrel. And uh, just want to share this one since it was kind of an interesting, uh, interesting firearm. Anyways, 
Remember, if you have any questions, uh, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com. Um, I do not uh, communicate through email through the YouTube system, so please make sure you use the info at civiliantacticalweapons.com. And also uh, visit the forums. Um, I tend to answer a lot of questions I see posted up on the forums. Um, I've been uh, actually out for the last couple weeks, so that's the reason why I haven't, uh, haven't been posting too much stuff lately. So we should be back on a regular schedule, and I uh, hope to see you on the next episode.